All right, so in this quick video, I'm going to run a quick test to demonstrate something that's going on with iClone. And uh, I've uh, basically gutted my system uh, to the raw components. As you can see, I've taken out all the hard drives and any apparatus that can possibly drain electricity from this. I left only the basic stuff intact. All the hard drives are out. The CD drive, all that stuff has been taken out. The only thing that's left is the primary hard drive. Uh, and the, the video card. So as you can see here, my default measurements, I'm running my, my GPU core right now is running at 56 megahertz. And that's obviously gonna change once I, uh, once I actually start running the different programs. You might also be able to hear the fan uh, on that machine running a little bit louder than usual. That's because I went ahead and manually uh, upped the, uh, the speed of the fan so that I can keep the processor and all that stuff as cool as possible. Anyways, let's go ahead and first I'm going to run Indigo so we can take a look at it running by itself. And uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, from an external video source is because this computer is going to crash a very horrible, horrible death. So here's Indigo. It ran, you know, pulled up really fast and everything. I'm not going to try to do anything in it. I'm just going to close it. Uh, see my machine out the GPU co uh, core clock jumped up to 405 megahertz uh, may, uh, the memory 162 megahertz shader clock all this stuff has been ramped up I'm gonna go ahead and close it and uh, you know everything goes back to running at a much lower level now let's run iClone and uh, you know sure enough I mean the machine is a fairly fast machine so, you know, all the operations and everything that I do in it is uh, pretty, pretty fast and accurate. <coughs> Again, my, um, my core clock uh, uh, is running at 405 megahertz now. Memory, one, 162 megahertz. Uh, the shader clock, 101 megahertz. Uh, and it just keeps bouncing back and forth depending on what I'm using. So, anyways, I'm not going to concern myself too much with what I'm doing because I'm not actually going to do anything. Here is a blank screen. I haven't put any objects on the program. I'm simply going to leave it blank. So I'm going to go to the Indigo renderer and I'm going to render the scene. Now keep in mind that there's absolutely zero polygons. There's nothing on the scene at all. I'm clicking on the renderer, so I'm going to render that scene. And, uh, you know, the blank scene is being loaded up into Indigo. So far, so good. We'll just give it a few minutes for it to finish doing whatever it's doing. I mean, it's obviously taking a while to render a scene that has absolutely nothing in it. You can hear the fan pick up. Boom. It died. So there you have it. Uh, computer is dead. <laughs> Rendering absolutely nothing. How do you like them apples? <laughs> wow, is it?